Hello everyone, welcome to the Bascom Tech um, Oracle Masterclass. Um, today we'll be talking about a very unique to topic, how to install Oracle Level on Windows 11. Um, this is very, very important because it's the basis of data data management, data analysis. Um, if you want to learn about SQL, whether you want to be a data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, data data administrator, you need to know SQL. Uh, my name is Ben Basho, um, I'm welcome to our world. Um, our Excel Masterclass again. So the first thing that you need, um, you need the software. So this is the Oracle 11 software. Uh, it's very good because it uh, doesn't drag your system and you can use it to achieve your thing. Have to faster it. Apart from Oracle, you can use Microsoft SQL, Server, MySQL, Sybase. There are different um, software you can use to learn SQL. Uh, another basic fact also is that um, you can installation can be done on Linux, installation can be done on Windows, but yeah, we are doing it on what Windows 11 on this platform. So uh, the first thing you do, this is the software. Um, you have to know the average size is between 1.3 to 2 gig. So the first thing you have to know to what's the size. This is 1.8 so which is okay you double click on the software next thing you do now was click on the setup just like every other software click on the setup um so you click on yes yes and so the oracle investor installer checks whether your system needs the configuration whether your system needs the um installation requirements so uh the presentation requirements is to be like 4 gb and if you have no hard drive space for like, like 200 gig or above, you should have created virtual uh, shop space. Um, so in case if your system gets full, the virtual shop space of like 10 gigabytes. So the so this is the first interface you have. So put your user ID. Uh, I'm going to put a bash, that's my name. Then you have to put your password also. So you can put in your password Always allow your password to be very what, um, um, long in terms of capital letter, small letter, um, special character. Because when you're working to, in a production environment, data has to be very, very what, secure. So your aim as a database administrator, data analysis, not just to create database, but to ensure that your data is what, secure. So you put what, your password, so I put in my password. Next thing you have to do now, you click on next. So you hold on for some minutes. So you hold on for some minutes. The next thing you have to do now, what um, you can see this part and put those petition prerequisite checks. So you have to what double click here. Okay, yeah, so to verify what uh, your system is requiring. If you don't do that, your system, you will not be able to install. Next, click on next. Okay. So, um, so allow access your firewall, check on your system requirements, so click on allow access. So the next thing that you have to click on what next. Now, so now, next thing you have to now install the Oracle product. So this will take some minutes. So after this thing, you have to now you now have the uh, database computation assistant. So let's hold on and let's allow the solution to go on. Okay, solution is going on. So that's all. Right. So the next thing that happens that is the installation. So um, the database configuration assistant components are being installed. So let's just wait for some minutes. So let's hold on for some minutes. So the program is that the components are components are being installed, so we have to hold on for some minutes. So 
Dress hold on. So the next thing we are going to do now, um, after the DBC um, installs, this page comes up. Yeah, there are some things you have, you have to know your username. You have to you see the URL for the enterprise manager, which, which is this. You always see the password management. So now, in um, our SQL, there are three main users. We have the HR user. We have the SysDB, which is the admin. That's you are the SysDB, SysDB user. We also have the Scott user. And the HR user and Scott user, they are sample schemas in the sense that well, they are default users. And you have default tables. As time goes on, I'm going to explain them. So the first thing you have to unlock this is the way I met it. You can say you have to unlock the HR user. You have to set the password for it also. So we're gonna put it for that password. Normally it's for the sample schema. So you're gonna put the, the password HR HR. Also for the Scott user. So let's go up and look for the Scott user, user Scott. Um, okay. Hold on. Okay, there's a user Scott there. That's good. Okay, let me expand this. So we can see all the users properly. Yeah, this is user Scott, okay? So, diff so you have to unlock user Scott also, then put the word. The password, the password for Scott is a tiger. So, okay. so these are Scott. So, you have to unlock the Scott user and you have to set a password for it, and that's what we have done. So, we click on what. Okay. Uh -huh. So then are, the next thing that you are going to do also, you also click on. So as I said before, yes, um, to be the, a small recap, when you click on password management, um, there are different users there. User HR, user Scott, sysadmin. So by default, the sys user, sysdb, the, um, by default is unlocked. I get it. So, what is this is user user can you see it here is unlocked can you see our system user is unlocked so you has the database on top of work with the what the sys user then then we have some example data and um, users platform whereby the hr and scott so for the hr and uh, scott users those two you have to unlock it and that's what we did yes and for the hr HR user, so we use the HR user and Scott. You have to unlock it, and when you unlock, you also you have to set your password. So for the HR user, HR, you put your password. Remember the HR user, the password is HR HR for the Scott user. The password is Tiger. But remember, it's for learning purpose. It's for learning what purpose. As time goes on, you understand what I'm saying. So you know what to find what okay. Yeah, so then this UI helps. You can keep it somewhere in your for yourself. It should be useful. I'll explain later. So I'm gonna keep this UI help. So uh, let me look for my notepad. Yes, sir. So, okay. This is our QIR, so I'm just saving it somewhere. Let me just save it on my desktop. Yes, sir. And don't forget that we say for the users, there are three main users. One, we have 
each um, six user, which is about two. We have the um, Hello, so we have the six user uh, number two, we have the each user, last day, number three, we have the squad user. Okay. Let's save it some uh, data. I'm just for data. Uh, so let's go back to our installation. So click on OK. I think okay. I think we are through. So you can see, operation is successful. Clicking this. So the next thing we can do now, after we've installed, yes, and there's a lot of post installation requirement. What are the things that you can check to know that your uh, um, app is working very well? So when you come here, you can just type SQL. Okay, this is SQL developer, but SQL, okay, this is SQL plus, so this is all we're making it off. So, you can enter your username, you can, yeah, you can log in as HR Scott or CDB user. So, let's log in as HR user first. Password HR. I see that you are connected, you understand. You want to log in as Scott, let's exit. So let's um, come up from CMD. So you can log into uh, S just type SQL Plus. Let me make it easy. SQL Plus. Okay, so you can log in as Scott user. Please always remember your password. The name Scott. You put your password. So it's an invalid password. So let's try again. Scott. Connected. So logged in. Then let's log in as the most important user, which is the what? The uh, CDB user. The CDB is the super user. You are like the admin. You are like the super user. You have a lot of privileges and a lot of administrative functions that are carried out under the what the CDBA platform. So let's log in. Um, so what we're doing, we're just checking whether what we did is okay. I think so far. So you now see when you, when you get the pump that okay, it's really successful. No, you have to check properly. Yes, and so sys mm, slash CDB. Sometimes you may not put the slash, but let's see where we go. Put the password. So it's being connected. So it shows that what you are logging, you are logging. Now you can also move from one user account to another. So this is how you do it. Um, you can say, okay, you can say con. You can connect. You can say let's want to connect as an each user. Well, I'm not, I'm not supposed to show show this, but I just want to show it out. It's supposed to be for my next video. Okay, you can also connect to each Scott uh, user. This one, from Scott. You put your password. So you're connected. You can also from Scott. You can migrate back to user con. Since us, so it has to be a space. So 
to the view. You put your password. So I think we are okay. So I want to say thank you very much um, for joining the uh, installation of this installation of our Oracle software on Windows 11. As time goes on, I'll work on installation of Oracle on what on Linux environment, CentOS. So uh, it's quite easy. So everyone should but stay tuned to the class. Um, and see you all in our next class. Um, have a great day, everyone. Enjoy yourself. Bye.